I want to go back now to the issue that I opened up on the program, and that is the six-month anniversary of the October the 7th atrocities against Israel. And I'm joined in the studio now by Dr David Adler from the Australian Jewish Association. Good to talk to you again, David. Uh, thank you. And I, I saw your opening editorial and it was absolutely spot-on, accurate summary. Well, I think it's so important, David, that, that these are individuals, real mm. human beings. Lives are still in the balance. We have so much focus on some of the accidental and the tragedy of the war, and we understand that. Any death is a tragedy. But the, the, the starting point of this struggle was those murders. I understand a cousin of yours was murdered on October the 7th. And now the hostages, some, those hostages that are still alive, six months in an unimaginable terror. Is that what you focus on now? Uh, in indeed. There's, there's an, a few things that we need to focus on. And I, I can see on the screen uh, you showed actually the death notice of uh, my cousin, a young woman named uh, Maya Biton. And one of the reasons, just one of the reasons it's had such a major impact on the Jewish community in Australia is nearly all of us have family or friends there. And to be perfectly honest, I, I haven't had the capacity to inquire as to the exact circumstances of her death. Uh, she was one of those killed at the Nova Music Festival. Yep. Uh, because we know what Hamas did to young women, and I just hope she was one of the lucky ones who, lucky, to be shot and killed uh, suddenly. So we are very concerned uh, about the impact uh, that it's had on the Jewish communities uh, in Israel, uh, and particularly those in the South. Obviously, everyone is very, very worried uh, about the welfare of the hostages, and you drew attention to a number of them. We've also been shocked and concerned about local reactions on the streets of Sydney and Melbourne and by our political leaders as well, Chris, which is entirely different to what we would have anticipated. Yeah, I'll come to that in a, in a moment. But, of course, there are tragedies in war and, of course, uh, for instance, the, the recent hit on a... Uh, an aid convoy that killed oh. seven people, including an Australian, absolutely tragic, and Israel regret, regrets that it's happened and it's, and it's um, investigating it thoroughly. Already there have been consequences. There has to be a focus on that and accountability. But are you surprised? We all know the politics. We all know about the left-wing agenda and we all know the politics playing out in Australia, in the US, ar around Europe. But does it still surprise you that world leaders, political leaders and the media seem to just gloss over and forget the plight of the hostages every day and focus on attacking Israel. Uh, it, it's outrageous. And, perhaps, and you're right, it is the expression of the leftist politics. And uh, there's something quite deep going on here. Uh, if you are from an ideology that is into any of the uh, isms, socialism, communism... Islamism, in other words, ideologies that are opposed to Western civilization, which is based on Judeo-Christian values, then almost reflexly, uh, consciously or unconsciously, you attack the place where the Judeo-Christian values began, mm. which, is, which is Israel. So perhaps something like that is going on, and perhaps there's some political advantage playing to a certain voter base, uh, electorates in Western Sydney, for example, uh, where there's uh, a certain voting mix that could swing some of the yeah, seats. Yeah, strong Muslim electorates, yeah, but, but also to the leftists at universities. There, there, are, there are politics at play, but it's still surprising that the essential humanity of the plight faced by those hostages isn't front of, cent front of centre... Uh, of everybody's agenda. I just want to show you, speaking about the domestic reaction, I'll show you some comments made today in Australia by Josh Lees. He's with the Palestine Action Group. And this is at a press conference hosted by the Australian Greens. This is in a political context. Here's some of what he had to say. Six months, we've seen over 35,000 people killed. We've seen the widespread destruction of hospitals, of schools, of all civil infrastructure in Gaza in a deliberate a campaign of mass terror being carried out against the Palestinian people of Gaza. 
I mean, this is Ridiculous. an obscenity to speak in these terms. Mass terror, as if it, this is what Israel's intention is, uh, completely glossing over the atrocities, the terrorism, the ongoing atrocity that's occurring to those hostages. Well, there's, there's so much hypocrisy in that to unpack. Um, but let's just look at two. Um, firstly, if you were really concerned about the welfare of civilians in Gaza, then the thing that you should do right up front is to demand the release of the hostages and surrender of Hamas. Exactly. The war would end tomorrow. But the other aspect is that this is complex urban warfare. Uh, and there have been a number of military experts who have assessed the proportion of civilian deaths relative to the deaths of combatants. And Israel, by its various precautions, has achieved a lower ratio of civilian deaths to combatant deaths in urban warfare yep. than has ever been achieved before. Yeah, it's so, a horrendous situation, and that's why it's taking so long. Hmm. We are just about out of time, David. So thanks for joining us on this uh, on this sad day, this sad anniversary. Thank you. Hopefully, I won't come back in twelve months. Oh, God, God willing. David Adler there from the Australian Jewish Association.